Heiden. Ihr fresst euch hier auch da. Ja. Voilà. I knew she had some doubts. Doubts about whether she should get married at all. I think maybe I just got to face the fact that she's not coming and we're not getting married. There's a cold front coming in, a big storm when that hits. Well, that's all the more reason to get out there right now. It's going to be pitch black. The seas will be too rough. They're saying they can't risk it. Oh, God help those poor kids. Jeff, you're probably the total opposite to any guy that I've ever gone for. But I really like you. You shouldn't be this cold. Come on. You have to try and warm up. Go try and stand. I'm tired. Nicole, you have to get up. Come on. Come on. Go try and stand. Come on. We'll get a weather update. Have you had any sleep? Not really. You can't go out there with an injury like that. Oh, I'm going to be out there, Charlie. I've got to find her. That cold front's still heading down the coast. It's due to get here about mid-morning, so if we're going to do this, we need to get the boat out there now. But what about the helicopter? Have you heard? Sorry, mate. It looks like that's a no-go. You know as well as I do, we can't cover this amount of territory with a boat alone before that storm hits. Why, we need why to find... are we standing around talking? We should be out there looking for them. They could be hurt. Annie, love, please remember what we talked about. You have to stay calm here. We are going out there, love, and we'll do our best to find them, I promise you. We need that chopper out. I've tried everything I know, mate. But emergency rescue have already deployed it. That storm really caused havoc up there last night. They won't pull it out. Not even when it's the difference between life and death for a couple of kids. What we've got to do is stop wasting time here and use the resources we've got and get out there. It's our only chance. Let's get to the boat. Come on, everyone, let's go. Alf. Roman still doesn't know about Martha and the baby yet, does he? I mean, I haven't said anything. I just decided it wasn't the right time. I gathered that. I haven't told him for exactly the same reasons. He's pretty strung out and he's obviously very worried about Nicole. It's best if we break it to him after this search is over. Gary, okay, you can stop holding me. I'm not as cold anymore. You do feel a little bit warmer. It's still pretty cold, but... You're a real gentleman. You can give me shorts to wear. <laughs> Nicole, I don't think they give you too much warmth. Well, that you never know if you don't try. Come on, you can't be shy, not after last night. Why don't you try and start a fire again? Maybe we can sit in front of it and cuddle. No, I don't want to leave you. I'm worried about you. No, really. Really, go on. I'll be fine. Okay. All right, well, I'll be ten minutes. Ten minutes tops, all right? I'm just going to go in the bush, try and find some dry stuff. Just the search parameters. There's a couple of tiny islands about two k's off to the east. Oh, it's definitely worth a look. Private, this was almost straight out of the boat. That's it. That's the one from the shop. That's that's Nicole's wetsuit. Wouldn't that have drifted further away than this by now? Looks like the weight belt's been sewn into it. All right, everyone, let's get back on board. We're moving out. What are you thinking? Well, if she was well enough to get the gear off, that means she was alive when Elliot left her. So that means she had a fighting chance. I reckon we should check out the islands. HQ just radioed. I've got two fishermen in the base and have been washed off the rocks. I'm going to have to do that rescue? No, we can't. We've only got a couple of hours before the weather deteriorates. Mate, I'm sorry. I've got my orders. I understand that, but can't we find another boat? That way we won't have to force them to come in. That's right. There's been a sighting, but it's unconfirmed. Two 17-year-olds fitting the description. Yes, and now I need you to come on board. 
So we've got the green light on this. Great, I'm heading there as we speak. An unconfirmed sighting of the kids. When did that happen? Look, I need you to radio the boat and tell them when they come in to head straight to the surf club. They're having a hell of a time convincing them to come in. Roman's resisting. Get on the radio then and speak to Roman directly. Tell them we've got a chopper. How'd you sleep? They gave me a sedative after you left last night, which pretty much knocked me out. And this morning, when I woke up, I couldn't remember why I was here. <laughs> then I remembered. It's like, right from the start, the odds have been against this baby. Yeah, I know what you mean. And maybe that's why I fought so hard, you know? I really wanted to give it every chance. You did? No one could have tried harder. About the chemo. Jack, I know what you're going to say, and I promise you we'll talk about it, okay? Just not now. Resuscitated at the scene, dehydrated and hypothermic. Going to query aspirational pneumonia and page radiology. We're going to need an urgent chest x ray. Jeff! Oh, sweetheart. Good to have you back in my place, mate. Okay. Yeah. How is she? She'll be all right now that she's here. I don't know how you got that chopper, but I owe you big time. Well, they could hardly knock back a request for an air search when there'd been a sighting by some fishermen. There was a sighting? Why wasn't I told about that? For the same reason, those fishermen opted to remain anonymous. Thank you. Roman, I've got to talk to you about Mark. Excuse me. Roman, uh, the daughter's responding well to the treatment. We're going to do a chest x-ray as soon as we can, but she'd really like to see you before she goes to radiology. Okay, thanks. Come. Put your mask back on. I was so scared for you. Thank you for saving us. It's Charlie you need to thank. Without her, you'd still be out there waiting for us. Thank you. Hey, it's me. Guess what? It's great, and and he must be stoked. We're still waiting to see how badly Nicole is, though. She's got pneumonia, but they think she's going to be okay. I didn't know if you had your flights booked already. 
Um, no, I can't. I can't go over yet. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hang around here a bit longer. Should be there. Yeah, it shook the whole building. What is it storming where you are too? Uh, yeah. Uh, look, I better get off the phone. So, bye. Thirsty. Shut up.